Hello viewers, welcome to ICSC class 10 Foundation Mathematics by R.S. Agrawal, Goel Brothers Publications. We are with chapter Measures of Central Tendency and we are solving sums from the exercise 26A and uh, we are with median quartiles and mode. We are with sum number 6 and here I am going to represent sum number 6 to 10 but I am going to do only sum number 6 and sum number 10. 7, 8 and 9 are same so I am going to go for sum number 6. So let us move on to sum number 6. Sum number 6 so let us start your answer sum number 6. So it says calculate the median so we have to find out the median. So median is equal to question mark weight in the nearest kg is given as 46 for 45, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54 and 55 with the frequency respect to it is 8 that is number of students is 8, 5, 6, 9, 7, 4 and 2 so let us work it out so our answer starts from here we will write down weight and we will write down the number of students that will be my frequency so now what is the criteria? Criteria is what? You have to write down according to the ascending order. So first one is, if you see, which is the first one? So first one is 45. So it is given. If you check it out, because I didn't see it. If you see your, yourself, 45, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54 and 55. Already it is in ascending order so no need to worry but the criteria is you have to arrange in the ascending order but it's already in ascending so 45 46 48 50 52 54 and 55 and the frequency is your number of students are 8 5 6 9 7 4 and 2 what do you have to go for you have to go for cumulative frequency so cumulative frequency here 8, 8 plus 5, 13, 13 plus 6, it is 19, 19 plus 9, 28, 28 plus 7, 35, 35 plus 4, 39, 39 plus 2, 41. So here, if you see n is equal to 41, it is odd. If it is odd, then you know the formula for the median for odd. So n plus 1 upon 2 is equal to 41 plus 1 upon 2 is equal to 42 upon 2 is equal to 21st, 21st observation. So 21st observation. So you have to go for 21st observation. Is it there in this one? No, not in this one. In 19, no. In 28, yes. In 28. So which one it comes up to? It comes up to 50. So our answer is 50. So median is what? Median is 50. So I hope you understood question number 6. Question number 7 is also in the same manner. If you see 7, 17, 20, 15, 22, 30, 25. So you have to arrange this one in ascending order. So first one comes 15. Then 17 then 20 then 22 then 25 and the last one is what 30 respect to that one is what 3 5 then for 20 it is 9 for 22 it is 4 for 25 it is 6 and for 30 it is 10 so it is 3 5 9 4 6 10 then you have to find out cumulative frequency here 3 3 plus 5 8 8 plus 9 17 17 plus 4 21 21 plus 6 27 21 plus 10 37 so total number of observation n is 37 so we are solving it here only see it is very easy 37 plus 1 upon 2 so it is 38 upon 2 that means it is which observation 19th observation it is there here in third three no 
not in 8, not in 17, yes in 21 it is there. So in 21 it comes up to which one? 22. So the median for 7th one is what? 22. So median is equal to 22. See, it is pretty simple. But you do it nicely. If you do it nicely then it is very easy to understand. Understood? So just like question number 6, you do it question number 7. Question number 8 is also in the same manner. Here you have to find out mean as well as median. Medi mean you know. Mean, how will you find out mean? X bar is equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi. Likewise you find out. And median as we have done in question number 6 and question number 7. Question number 9. You, what you have to do? 15 number of students are given. 15. So n is equal to what? 15. So what you are going to do? You are going to arrange this one in ascending order. You start from 0. Understood? And then the largest one is, I can't see above 30. So 30 is the largest number. Or you can say the highest frequency, or sorry, highest observation is what? 30. And the lowest one is 0. So you try to solve that one. I am solving question number 10. So let us solve question number 10. So here, we'll write answer, answer number 10. 9 and 10 both are same so I'm going to so now here you see here it is given 5 23 9 16 0 so let us start from ascending order 0 so here 0 is done then what it comes to so here 2 then which one 5 then 5 8 and then 9 then comes here it is 14 23 16 13 then 14 16 18 23 26 so you got 26 13 18 14 you got 16 you got 23 19 is remaining so i have to put a 19 here okay so year 19 so i will arrange it here once again so year 0 2 5 8 9, 13, 14, 16, 18, 19, 23 and 26. Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. So our n is equal to 12. That means it is even so for median so i'm going to write here median even is 1 upon 2 n upon 2 plus n upon 2 plus 1 observation right so here 1 upon 2 here sixth observation and seventh observation so now 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 correct so 1 upon 2 here 13 plus 14 that is going to become what 13.5 so my median is what 13.5 now if you go lower quartile so you have to find out lower quartile that is l q that is q1 what is the number here? The number is, if you see, the number is even. If it is even number and it is lower quartile, we say n upon 4. That will be what? 12 upon 4. That will be which observation? Thought of the 1, 2, 3. So our answer is 5. So q1 is 5. So we have done this one. Now upper quartile. So uq is equal to q3 and upper quartile is what? 3n three 3n upon 4 is equal to 9th observation. So 9th observation q3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So answer is 18. So what else it is asking? Interquartile range. Interquartile range means what? Q3 minus 
q3 minus here next one i q r is equal to what q3 minus q1 is equal to 18 minus 5 that is going to become what that is going to become 13 so i q r is going to be 13 interquartile range is 13 what else is this asking what else so upper quartile semi quartile range so here semi quartile range semi inter quartile range so that is q3 minus q1 so it is 1 upon 2 multiply by 13 that is 6.5 so this is s i q r so then make a box so you got each and everything you got median what is the answer for the median 13.5 you got lower quartile 5 5 and here 18 so this one is lower quartile and this one is upper quartile 18 then interquartile range you got what 13 and uh, here semi interquartile range you got 6.5 so you have to do the same method that what I have done first of all ascending order then find out the median then lower quartile upper quartile then interquartile range and semi quartile range for the question number 9th as well I hope you understood the sum number 6 and 10 as well as I have also done 7 you just have to do two sums that is 8 and 9 if you have any doubts or any sort of questions please let me know I will try to explain once again thanks guys and thanks for your patience I will see you in the next episode